Baba Boy. All right, guys, welcome. We're gonna talk about Grand Peaks. You know, like, is it worth it? You know, like we always ask, like, or at least I get asked a lot. You know, should I buy Grand Pieces? It's not as often as people ask me for a suitcase, but. Hey, I mean, like that's about life, you know. I mean, like <laughs> you expect people to ask me more for, for. But yeah, you know, is the game worth it? You know, like I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. No, I don't think it's worth it. You know, if you're trying to buy Grand Piece, you know, there are a lot of reasons why I said you shouldn't buy it, even though I'm playing it for so much. But yeah, I'm gonna bring up Notepad. So like, let's see. So what's bad about Grand Piece, you know? Um, let's see. Okay, it takes like takes long time to grind, right? Uh, for Devil Fruit actually, and like slash boss item, you know, like you might need help with that, like literally, like you might need help with friends. You might need friends basically. So let me type that in, and then let's see. Yeah, you you don't want to go for Devil Fruit. You know, Devil Fruit is for like end game basically, so that's not good either. You know, like so basically, if you go in the game, it's like, ooh, I want to get some Devil Fruit. You know, let me look for that. You know, no, 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 because the reason why it's for end game is because like shit farming, shit farming. You know, you need bounty, right? Like you need bounty for that, which means. Yeah, to kill player, right? You know, obviously, or like you kill Marine ship that player spawns, which then again, they you need bounty to spawn the Marine ships. So at the end of the day, you kind of had to kill someone unless you ask someone for bounty, which I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm not all about that. So, but yeah, I mean, you can also hunt for sea bees. You know, hunt sea bees. You know, you can do that with gun or something. You know. But like you, then again, you still need a lot of levels to have that stat. Need use gun, you know. Need a lot of stat. So I've been told that people used it like 350, 350 mass three, I believe. The farm for CBs, right? Like, okay, so I mean, like that at least needs you to like have what 100 something leveled. But it's probably safer to be level 200 or something, right? Because you need some HP to survive the CVs, you know, and to run away from it with a get pull and whatever. If you don't have a get pull, you're kind of screwed. So, um, yeah. Devil Fruit is for endgame. I, I didn't type Devil Fruit here, but, you know, get the point, you know. Alright, guys. Just had to pause the recording real quick. Because I had to talk to mom. But, yeah. Um, you gonna need Gun Master or Diablo Jam Day, right? Otherwise, I don't really know how you're gonna beat CVs. Okay. Maybe Sword. Um, how do you, um, maybe sword, right? Like, maybe one sword style, because the rapid slash, if you go up to the sea beast, you know, it does a lot of damage, you know? So, that might be good. But then again, that would only work better if you're not trying to solo. So, sword style rapid slash is like, eh. Like, you, you want range attack, because Diablo Jambe, you know, has range attack along with gun. You know, obviously, if it doesn't have gun, have range attack, you wouldn't be using it. So that's why you know one of the reason why you shouldn't play Grand Peace, and also because PVE slash maybe PVP. I don't play PVP that much, but both of them feels unbalanced. You know, like it, it literally feels unbalanced because like. Have you seen all the Magu and Pika, you know, like, Pika slash Magu, like, have you seen the game at all, Pika slash Magu, you know, <laughs> PvE slash maybe PvP meta, you know, like, just, like, you can all in Devil Fruit, all Devil Fruit users, yeah, um, no, Devil Fruit stats user, yeah, uh-huh, that sounds better, like, Mm -hmm. Let's just talk about PvE. I have more knowledge in that, you know. So, yeah, yeah, playing the game for like since release. Oh god, dude. Uh huh. Pain, you know. But yeah, Pika users, you know, you use Jewels of Light, Light Ray, 
you know, kills any boss super efficiently, you know. And like Magu is about the same, you use like Z, X, and like C. Those moves are like the um, Magu hand, you know, it's the block break one. They all look the same, by the way. But Magu range just like wrap his, you know, punches of Magu's projectiles. Yeah, I, I don't know really what to call them, but yes. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it is what it is, you know, like something like, let's see, Zushi slash Ice. <laughs> Tough time farming, you know, like. They, they, they just don't have that advantage compared to Magu slash Pika. Like, Magu, you can go under the ocean and not die. You know, and like, you'll be fine, you know. Pika, you can't do that, but Pika makes it up by having a lot of damage. Zushi, okay. I mean, Zushi, you could do damage, yeah, for sure, with C. You know, if you on the fruit with like, the Meteor Strikes, it does a lot of damage. It's got Barrage. I would show you guys, but I'm on my Pika account, and I'm like, eh, I'm too lazy to switch, so... Yeah, you know, that's that. And then let's see, what else is there? Um Oh yeah, let's talk about ice. Ice, you can survive on the platform and stuff, but then again you can't really re rely on ice because if you all in the fruit, it doesn't scale as well as like Pico or Mangu, so ice doesn't do a lot of damage. You know, ice don't do like it doesn't do a lot of damage, which means um, let's see, how do, how do we type this, um, hold on again, but yeah, my mom came in again, so, uh, yeah, slash, okay, have two, but yeah, you have to rely, uh, how do you type rely, oh god, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just have to rely on other style to, like, do, more damage, hopefully, um, you can mix in with ice and gun, probably, I feel like that would be better, because, you, first, you can block the projectile that, um, or run away from the, um, from the CB's projectile, you know, with the gun, and you can, like, stay far enough where it won't block break you, so, I slash gun, you know, you know, I slash gun, I guess, um, yeah, um, that would work very well. You can't really do that with Zushi because, I mean, Zushi will die if you step on water, so you're not very mobile in the water part, so. Yeah, you know, and then like the PvP. God, dude, there's so many changes in PvP. That's how you know it's unbalanced. I don't even play PvP that much, but there has been so many changes to PvP. That's how you know the game is unbalanced. Light Ray got nerfed, bro. Goro got nerfed for no reason. Now it's undervalued, basically. Zushi, you know, people realize it sucks. You know, like, now no, nobody uses it. Like, god damn, dude. Ice got nerfed because it's some time too long, you know, infinite combo and so. Even though infinite combo will always continue, god, dude. It will never end. It's like a cycle of never ending combo. But PvP, in short, um, just unbalanced in general. <laughs> it does. But yeah, like, it, it, if you want a PvP in this game, man, you need a Logia. Like, you don't, no, you don't need it. You would want it if you want to win more efficiently, you know? Like, if you don't have a Logia and stuff, you're not gonna win as often or as efficient, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, the style. Okay, let's, wait, let's talk about PvE again, okay? Because we're talking about the styles, right? Um, so, uh, let's see. Styles are unbalanced. For example, one sort of style, you know, um, no block break, right? Uh huh. Literally has no block break and like lack styles, you know, like right now at the uh, currently uttering of day three. Literally lacks. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Like, like. Lax, oh yeah, lacks mobile ability. That's what I'm trying to say. Mobile. Oh shit, I don't know. Hmm. No, 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 you don't. I don't know. Whatever. Um. Yeah, lacks mobile ability. You know, because. Yeah, it doesn't have Gepo or anything, or like Soru, like. You know, if you Soru, you can get it from like you know Roku if you don't know, but Gepo and Soru from like Roku style, right? It doesn't have any of that, and it doesn't have block break, so it means it's useless. It's ultimate, is his main move. So, like, for PvP, right? You know, okay, let's go back to PvP, you know? 
One Sword style, like... It's like burst damage is from a C, you know, can't burst because... Because C. Dragon Blaze, okay, it's just Dragon Blaze, you know? You gotta d use... You gotta charge up time, right? Like in PvP, you gotta charge up your damage in order to use your ultimate. So like, once you do enough, like, was this 900 damage or 600 that you can use your ultimate? But yeah, something like that. You don't have that, so like, you can't really burst someone down. Which is what a lot of people do. You don't have to, and you can still make sword style work, but you don't have block break. Which means you either have to rely on the fruit, right? Or you have to rely on like a weapon, right? Because you don't have to use one sword style. Well, actually, no, you do have to use one sword style if you have one sword style. So you can only rely on the fruit to block break, right? Which, you know, one sword style is pretty unbalanced, you know? And then, like, for, talking about the Roku style, it's, Roku style, it's fine. It's like people use it as combo extender, right? You know? It's fine. But, like, the only thing that got, like, an upgrade is Black Leg. Literally got the Apple Jambi, like, every other style was not worked on, you know? Like, you know, we need more styles. Like, we need more styles. And also, oh my god, like, um, not even talking about the styles, like, the weapons that we get, the Sento, right? Like, um, I'll show you guys, um, all these Candy Cane, Katana, CP's Katana, Gravity Blade, right? All of these, they're useless, you know, um, in the future, they're useless. Because they scale, they have their own level of scaling, right? So, let's see, how do, how do we, how do we show this? Give me a second, you know. Let's fight the bunny, right? Let's show the Bacento's, like, left-click damage. You know, I'm, I'm, you guys get what I'm talking about already? You should know. So, I do 14 damage per hit, right? Okay, we're gonna back off real quick. Oh, I'm gonna die, dude. Oh, please, please! <laughs> Leave me alone! Dude, the combo extend is crazy, man. Like, the mini bunnies? Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Dude, they don't leave me alone. They're on crack, dude. They're on crack. But yeah, let's use something like, um... CB's Katana? No, CB's Katana is this season. I mean, this update. Kuribachi, yeah. Kuribachi is from update 0, right? Let's use something like that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have, like, a couple damage less. So, it means, like, it won't... It, it has its own scaling, you know? Yeah, see, we do 11 damage. That's, like, 3 damage less. Which, in late, like, late game, right? We're not talking about right now. Like, right now, it's fine. Like, we don't really need much rework but later on in game like her body is gonna become useless because like the the newer weapon is gonna do so much more damage to the point like where Kuribachi is not worth using or something and also Kuribachi lacks moves like these special like weapon that we get lacks it only has two moves you know like I you know I, I feel like you know if we want to make like we don't need one source out right if we have more moves, right? Like golden staff or something, you know? Let's see. Let me show you guys. Um Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Golden Staff has a lot more moves, so that's really nice, you know? It makes it feel like its own it's like its own style. Like they don't even need to add more style, they just need to make the mutton have more moves if they don't want to make more style. And then you know, like, that will feel much better, you know, for, like, the non-fruit user, right? Okay, so, let's see. Need more style, right? And then, like, older weapons will become useless late game, right? It will become useless late game, so that's not good. And then what else was there? I, I, I had something in mind earlier, but I forgot. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. But yeah, um... Let me, th let me, give me a moment to think about it. I will come back to you guys. A moment. Ah, yes! Okay, it's that, okay. I, I got it. Um... Okay, it's a little bit unorganized right now. Ah, shit, dude. Um... Let's see, let's put it here. So, beginners... Like, this is, like, the most important part for beginners. Like, beginners... Don't have tutorial, right? So like, they don't know where to go. They don't know where to go. Okay. So what I mean by that last night, they don't know where to go, is that like, 
I know we have map in Trello, right? So, um, I guess I'll leave the Trello link in the description if you're curious. So, um, look over here, but let's expand it so it's easier to see, you know. Give me a second. So, over here, you know, we have a map. You need to spawn in the town of beginning, right? Um, but then, like, okay, you have quests. You have a quest outside the dock that shows you where to go, right? And which leads to Sandora, right? You know? Then once you finish Sandora, there's like a quest that also tells you to shell. You know, like some people don't struggle with finding those quests. Like I'm like, how you, how, how you don't know where to go? You know, there's quests showing you where to go next. You know, I don't, I don't get it. You know, <laughs> I don't get it. But hey, hey, that those quests, you know, just in case we're big brain, you know, or like you didn't miss the quest, you know, it will show you where to go for like most part. So you know, then like Shell Town will tell you to go to like no, not Orange Town. My bad. Um, Coliseum. Hold on, that's not Coliseum. My bad, that's not okay. Like, they, they messed up on the map, but like, that's um, let, let's fix it. It's like the main island, so it's called Zo Zo. I don't know, um, but yeah, it's not the Coliseum. But then the showdown tells you to go to the main island. This is main island, by the way. I don't know the map, why the map is wrong, but yeah, that the Coliseum is actually up here, you know. So let's fix this real quick. Call, oh, actually, let's revert, let's not cross the map. But what we'll do is that, you know, make it look a little bit better, you know. Holy, holy shit, dude. <laughs> That's gigantic, large than my mom, dude. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, something like, okay, let's replace those. And we get white text, baby. Now we get white text. That is so, and then that is call. Coliseum, you know. So, yeah, uh-huh. That's basically, I don't, I know I didn't need to do that, but... I mean, just to make it easier to look at, you know. Okay, the, the bush width is way too big, bro. Oh my god, go back. But yeah, anyways, you guys get what I'm talking about, you know. Like, literally, you go to the beginning. It, it, tells, it tells you where to go for the first floor place, right? Then like, what the hell are all these places? Where do I go, you know, right? Like, like later on, <laughs> later on, like at the beginners, like later on in the other day, we won't know where to go. Yeah, like, okay, literally, so many people ask me where to go after, like, the Mink Island and, like, whatever, you know. Sometimes they ask where to go after Sandra, but they're just being no-brain, but, you know, I, I, I try to help out anyways, but, you know, shit, I, I, you know, like, yeah, mm -hmm. But, yeah, basically, after Mink, you literally go to Barati, right, you know. They have the Barati, I don't know where you go, actually, to be honest. Sphinx Island, maybe, at, like, level, I think at level 4, no, is it 40? Cause at Mink Island it's level 30, right? Then you go to lo go to Barati at level 40. So maybe Sphinx Island is level 50. But then again, you might struggle with that. So yeah, it's probably better to have like 10 extra levels. So like level 60 or 50 will be okay at Sphinx Island. Then you like you go to Arlong at like hopefully maybe 70 or 80 maybe I wanna say. I don't know really. Like it's so weird because like. Some of the mobs that are actually like harder, I feel like. I don't know, that, that was like my past experience, right? So I don't... It's not really... I don't think it's relevant. Revelant? Wait, 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 the word. Yeah, I mean, you, you get the point, but... Yeah, I just don't know where to... Like, after Barati, I just don't know where to show you guys where to go, right? At the proper level, because it doesn't say what level you need to go where. So after Arlong, I think you go to Sky PM because I don't really know. Roku is for like trainer, Roku is for trainer. Orange Town is useless because like you only get cape and you can get like Orange Town you get cape but like there's a better cape at Gravito so you don't need to go there. Or there's a better cape at Morin Ford. It's so weird man. Um but yeah, to Sky PM then you go to Gravito, right? You know, Fisherman K out of Gravito. Then Zoop Zip Zap, you know, you go to Elo's Island after that. I know, it's like a weird curve. Holy shit, um, this is kind of like... It's kind of messy, guys. Um, my bad. My bad, but like... Yeah, all the uh, other island is like... For like, Demon Leg over at Coco Island. Cory is for like, Busho Hockey. There's also like a... Ken Hockey back at Skype, you know? Uh, yeah, you know, it's super complicated. Marine 4 F1 is useless. It's just where you jail people. So like... Yeah, that, 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 that place is useless, you know. 
Colosseums for PvP. But yeah, you guys get the point. I'm gonna stop stalling, you know? I, well, let me go back. Like, these are super messy, so... Okay, uh-huh. Let's just go back so it looks nicer that way. But yeah, that is basically it. You know, beginners don't know where to go. And like, god, dude, there's a lot of things that, like, gives beginners disadvantage in this game. Well, currently, of course. And like, if you do reach endgame, you know, um... Good thing. Okay, so if you do reach end game, you know you have like you have. Let's see, you have devil fruit slash. What else do we have? Okay, you have devil fruit. All the boss items, right? Okay. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about the boss. Did we talk about the boss item? I know I said that like you need friends to get it. Um, takes long time to grind. Boss might need friends. Yeah, okay, I didn't explain why we need a boss item, but I will just say right now, you know. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, oh, actually, I'm not even going to type it in the notepad, but let's see. Items, you're going to need them. You're going to need them, for sure. So, like, over here, if you look at my item status buff, it says extra health and stamina region, right? What? Why I have so much stamina region is because you can infinite get pulled that way. So for PvE content, you can literally spam all these moves, right? I can do all of these. Literally, like, I'm clicking clicky clacky, right? And, you know, um, I can literally spam it. Yeah, non-stop. You can look at my stamina, you know, it's regening like 18 per or something, I feel like. I don't even know anymore. The, the stamina region just gone crack after you reach 5 plus. Like, <laughs> but yeah, you will need those, which means you will have to farm bosses, you know. The boss's location is pretty simple. Oh, shit. Um, they don't really tell you where the bosses are, do they? Oh, shit. Okay, so let's add that in. Um, don't tell you where bosses are. So, that's the problem. Like, uh, th the game doesn't guide you. You gotta guide yourself and, like, try to Google up all the research. Or the answers, you know, right? Which is part of the j game's job, right? You know, so like, it's like, where do I get candy cane, you know, right? Like, um, you know, like, if a new player comes in, right? Sees candy cane, where do I get candy cane, you know? I, I shouldn't be like, yeah. Where do you get candy cane, right? You, they wouldn't know, right? Like, they have to Google up or, you know, search it up or something, you know? So, that would take extra time. So, it's like, inconvenient for the users, you know? And like there are some, there's not sometimes multiple items that comes from the same boss, and people sometimes just don't won't know, you know. Some people don't watch the anime literally, like they won't know Brusentos comes from White Beer. Like, are you kidding me, man? Like, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's the end of the video. I got nothing else to say. I don't want to stall the video any longer, so I'm gonna stop here. You know, Grand Piece is not worth it right now. You know, if I had to make a notepad about everything and stuff, you know, it's like, jeez, man, jeez. Alright, you guys have a good day. And, bye-bye. Oh, yeah, I swore to God, dude. Someone's gonna point out something that I didn't point out in the comments and be like, Oh, yeah, there's this and that, you know, that makes the game better and it's worth it, you know? And blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear any of that shit. I'm just saying, I came back from the grave just to tell you guys this. Okay, like, uh, I swear, I didn't point out dungeons, right? Dungeons. It's, dungeons is literally the same with CBs, you know? If you use the same, you know? You get the Abo Jambe, you know, whatever, you know? Then you, you don't use gun style, by the way. So, yeah, dungeons. Let me just type in dungeons. You know? Get good. And get way... 25 equals fruit. Yeah, you just gotta get good. And then you get fruit. So, that's basically, I'm gonna head out, guys. Holy shit. I, I don't want to make the video too long.